by this time things are starting to normalize for the most part <laughs> Okay, so six months out, I was noticing pretty much the same changes that I was noticing around three months out, with a few exceptions. Um, by this point, the hair loss has stopped, but my hair loss stopped really early. Um, but I told you why in the previous video, and that was because I locked my hair. However, for many people, I believe it started to stop or slow down significantly by this point. So hopefully, you know, you're experiencing that if you're here or you can look forward to that when you get here. Um, also, the clothing are still shrinking by now, um, not as rapidly as they were in the first three months. But I think at this point, I probably had dropped another shirt size. I had gotten down to medium 8 tens um, in uh, the three in the first three month period all the way from a 22 wide um, and by this point I think I was now at a medium 79 something like that um, also I believe I had went down again in size in size um, in terms of like my leggings I think I was down to like a before I was a 15 17 yeah so at this point and that was an extra large so at this point I'm now in a large which is a 13 15 yeah and so that's where I was about um six months out I could fit into a large um leggings at that point also I think this is around the time where I noticed a really significant change in the size of my face um, I carried a lot of weight in my face well I already have you know a round face to begin with even though I've lost you know well over a hundred pounds or I think I'm close to like 110 or 11 down at this point maybe 112 I don't know anyway um, by three months I you know was still round you know rounder still plump um, but at six months I looked at my some of my before and after pictures and uh, sometimes I didn't even look like the same person to be honest um, so yeah you will more than likely start to notice a huge difference in your face or the top half of your body you might start noticing your collarbones popping out and, you know stuff like that or um, your chins or I'm sorry not your chins <laughs> well yeah you probably lost the chin or so by now um also you might notice that your cheeks and your cheekbones are becoming a little bit more defined or a little bit more narrow i noticed that um you know my face went from really really brown and swole looking to uh much more like oval <laughs> oval shape so you might notice a change in your facial structure by this point um so honestly Things are starting to normalize for the most part, but you still can't eat as much um, and you should be happy about that. Um, I personally am, I personally still cannot eat as much as I could before, nor do I have any desire to be able to eat as much as I could before. I can't even eat a half or a third as much as I could before at this point. Um, and I am well past the six month mark. I'm closer to like the 10 month mark at the making of this video so I am going back and giving you a recap because I used my Instagram as a basic basically a diary so that's how I know where I was and what changes were going on at what point uh, post-op so um, you should at this point be able to eat well I at six months I did my own plate weight study and I know a lot of people probably like I ain't gonna do all that but I have a bachelor's de degree in dietetics and nutrition so I had to do them so I'm used to doing them so I did my own plate weight study and I, I actually measured um, my food before um, measured the 
plate that I had it on and tear the uh, weight out for the plate and then I measured the before food that I uh, portioned out for myself, I ate, and then I measured the waste or the leftovers to see exactly, because I wanted to know what I was eating by that point. So by that time I was at approximately uh, five ounces. And I believe when I was back towards three months, I think I was around two uh, ounces at that point, two to four ounces, something like that. So you should be able to eat more than you could before, so but not a whole lot more. So you probably went from uh, two to three bites. Now nah, maybe it take you about six bites. <laughs> six or seven good bites and you it, it's a wrap um and that's a good thing like i said i am in no hurry to be able to eat i don't ever want to be able to eat like i could before because before i was a bottomless pit i mean i would get full but it didn't last long you know it, it never lasted and i know because the majority of what i eating was what I was eating was processed garbage and I get that processed food does not keep you long as more complex carbs and things like that but or uh, higher fat healthy fat options but back then I could just eat and eat and eat and I might get full and then 30 minutes to an hour later I was ready to go again just like I did the first time so now you know um, I can't eat much at all so uh, I still can't eat that much. I can go out to eat now and it not really raise too many eyebrows um, when the waitress or the waiter comes by and I ask for a doggy bag. Whereas before, I don't even know why I did that. I might make a video about my first time going out to eat. I went out to eat way too early, way, way too early. But I was honestly, I think once I hit that point of, of Oh, I can eat now. I wanted to feel like I could eat at a restaurant and I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, I'll, I'll get into that in another, another video. Yeah, because that's a whole other story. So, okay, also at this point, um, if you're a slow loser like me, you've probably noticed a slight um, decrease in your weight loss. I never lost rapidly per se there i i do have the occasional month where i'm sorry the occasional week where it will startle me <laughs> and i'm like oh did i not eat enough or did i do something wrong but no you know that's going to happen sometimes you're going to have those very high losses that are unexplainable to you um but for the most part my loss is really consistent so if you notice that your weight is, you know, uh, continuing, you're, you're continuing to lose weight, just maybe at a slower rate at this point, that's fine. You know, that's, that's normal. That's to be expected. There's this misconception that because you have weight loss surgery, the weight just comes clean off or it's just supposed to fly off you. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions there is about weight loss surgery. It's not necessarily rapid weight loss. It's more so consistent weight loss. And then as a result of it being consistent compared to where you were and where you are in, you know, X amount of time, it does seem like, oh, wow, she lost that weight fast. But when you stop to do the math, it really is not fast at all and I had a conversation with someone via DM about that she saw my video about um, me being a slow loser and wanted to know exactly what I considered a slow loser because she herself was a slow loser and disagreed with me but the funny thing was when we did the math on the rate that she was losing and the rate that I was losing it was exactly the same so again, when you stop to do the math, you realize that it's not necessarily rapid. It's more so consistent than anything. So you might notice a slight decrease. That's okay. As long as you keep losing, that's fine. And also don't expect to lose every week. So if you're not losing every week around this time, that's fine as well. Um, because I didn't lose every week around this time. I seldom did I gain, but uh, on the other hand, seldom did I 
lose every I'm sorry I'm not, I'm not gonna say sell them but I did not lose every week either and I'm okay with that I still don't lose every week as a matter of fact um I think I lost 15 pounds in the last three months so what's that like an average of five pounds a month again totally okay with that that does not bother me I'm in no hurry my issue has always been consistency you know and so I'm trying my hardest to be much more consistent across the board with almost everything that I do but especially when it comes to my weight because it was never consistent for me and that's always been one of my biggest issues okay so again six months is starting to normalize there aren't any gigantic changes per se however you might be one of those people who did experience gigantic changes and if you did i would love to read about them in the comments so drop them down below and if you haven't done so already please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you can keep up with me and i can keep up with you and i will catch up with you in the next video talk to you later bye